What's up guys, this is Prime C from PR Tech Reviews and today I'm going to show you how to fix your EXFAC drives on uh, uh, on Mac. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I opened Disk Utility up here and as you can see I have my SSD plugged in and then my 3TB external drive that's formatted at EXFAT. Um, some of you might have problems where you have a dirty volume or a volume that isn't mounting, so this would be unmounted and it will not allow you to eject um, the disk or the partition. So it basically lets you plug it in, but you can't really mount the drive, but you can't also unmount the drive. So I'm going to tell you how to fix that today. Um, what you're going to want to do is, uh, first of all, unplug the drive. It doesn't matter if you try to remove it because it's not going to let you eject it. You're going to want to unplug the drive and then, and then turn off the computer. Um, after you turn off the computer, you're going to want to press the power button and then uh, hold command s at the same time this will bring you into single user mode um, basically it's like um, a terminal that uh, that pops up so it's basically a complete single user mode as you can see here I have some disk utility stuff being done here uh, but what you want to do is in single user mode you'll be logged in as a super user so you'll be able to um, you'll be able to uh, give commands in a super user kind of way <laughs> to do kind of way and your drive won't be mounted at, or being won't be like trying to mount at a certain mount point because it'll be a different user um, so what you're going to want to do is then run a kind of like a check disk for Mac I'll have the actual um, uh, the actual command you need in the description below but you need to know um, what your disk number is and what the partition is um, normally um, the disk number is if you have a hard drive inside and then you have an external um, plugged in, only one external plugged in, it's usually going to be um, slash dev slash disk one, and then you need to uh, you need to see how the partitions are listed. Um, I'll have a link in the description to show um, how you can find the uh, list of the partitions. But otherwise, you just have to run the command fsck uh, underscore exfat slash dev slash disk one s one. Um, that will do a check disk and hopefully fix your errors. Um, usually it's a bitmap error, that's what I had, but um, you never know, sometimes it could be uh, other uh, various errors throughout the hard drive. So um, just do that and do it in single user mode. I had a better experience as as you can see, one or, uh, you can see here one or more volumes failed to mount. Um, and it just it took me at least a at least a day to fix it. Um, if you want, you can try check disk on Windows, but um, if it did uh, corrupt on a Mac, it's just I think it's easier to fix on a Mac, um, just because that's where it's that was that's where it's trying to mount to anyways. Um, it will take about 20 minutes, especially for three terabytes wise. It took me about 20 minutes. So depending on the size of your drive, um, that'll see the time it takes to actually complete the command. Um, but that's pretty much it. You just run the command. It might hang at some process, but just let it go. Kind of leave the computer to let it do itself. Don't try to do anything, and it it will clearly prompt to you if something is wrong or if something's. Uh, um, not going to work if you need a repartition. Uh, this is also for file exit code 1. So if you have file exit code 1 when you're verifying the disk, this works um, to fix that. If it's not it's not exit code 8 and exit code 0 just means that you're good to go. Um, otherwise, that's it. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.